4,760 pounds. At a glance, the 261 Bunkhouse x Light Wildwood here at Haylet RV of Goldwater, Michigan looks and feels like uh, it's just another one of these 26 foot no slide bunkhouse campers. But there are a lot of really, really awesome daily use and quality of life features that they've applied here that are very easy to miss. And really the trick with Wildwood RVs is that they are deceptively well detailed and it's easy to miss all the big hitter high dollar big features that you have going on here. Because like at a glance, everybody and their brother builds this floor plan. But it's a little Wildwood touches that kind of separate it. And one of the big features that you'll find in this one is it is pumped full of storage. And in a more entry level bunkhouse like this, and note, like sometimes people have criticized me for calling brands like when I get a used trailer in on trade, I'll say, well, this is an entry level coach. And people think I mean it as derogatory. Well, here I just said it about one of my own campers. This is an entry level coach. This is ideal for a first time buyer. But the thing is, it brings a lot of long term benefit to it. Like most manufacturers who build a floor plan like this, a 26 foot no slide bunkhouse, if we call it, usually their kitchen cabinetry stops right at that window. Wildwood has extended it all the way up to the bedroom and notice how tall it is. Now it's a little bossy. I mean, you could say, yeah, it feels a little blocking in the way, but you still have big windows. You still have great airflow. You didn't lose anything. You just gained a bunch of storage capacity. And I've had people trade in RVs for a ton of reasons here at Halid RV over my career but never because I couldn't keep the cabinets full. And I love how they're very good about this in the, in the like, I guess you call it the proper kitchen, the main kitchen. They always throw an overhead shelf in a cabinet to double that space as well. So a lot of good little stuff right there in handy. The stainless partial appliance bundle we have here is very popular. And how about this? How about a uh, 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt compressor refrigerator? This is not a electric only residential fridge. These things only require like three amps. So if you're gonna go boondock and off-grid camping, you have two batteries and a little portable solar panel that's like 95 watts or more, it can keep this thing running. It's very cool how well this works. The fact that we are only like 40 minutes from where these things are built or an hour, depending on which factory this comes out of. The fact that this thing comes in with an ice cold freezer is absolutely awesome. We have been very impressed actually with these. And compared to the first generation of these things, what they're using in these now, these uh, big compressor refrigerators, I'm very happy with what I've seen out of them. We've, we've stress tested them through our service departments and we've been very pleased with the results. Now normally you wouldn't get a lot of prep space here, and I'm not going to tell you this has the prep space of a rear kitchen fifth wheel. But with that recessed stovetop and that uh, aluminum drying rack sink cover right there, you actually do have some decent horizontal space you can do some stuff with. Now you see in the oven, oven is actually optional in these Wildwood X lights. For no more than it costs, it feels like one of those things where it, you could at least use it as a bread box. But hey, maybe you want to cook some cookies or biscuits in that thing. You never know. Now we've got easy reach appliance outlets to the right of the uh, venting kitchen window. And that's another cool thing. This is entry level, but every single window is going to open for airflow. And they even maximize all the storage space that you have down here under the counter. Now below those drawers, take a look at the floor. You will find in an X light, it is carpetless and it is ventless. All of them. So uh, these are always kid friendly, pet friendly, and extremely easy to keep clean as a result. And speaking of storage, we've got stow and go, baby. Stow and go is something that they do to in various applications across every member of the, the Wildwood x Light and full Wildwood family. Under their dinettes, they'll put these very lightweight, very simple, but very handy, useful, and like purpose size fit little slide out fabric totes here. What these are really cool for, ladies and gentlemen, is let's say you've got, you know, when you're camping, you're, 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 it, it takes you some time when you're at home, you're laying everything out on your beds and you're packing everything up. It's a bunkhouse. You've got a couple kids or at least one kid probably, you know, and what you can do with one of these is you can grab this tote and you can, and tell your kid, like my daughter's Chloe, I can say, okay, Chloe, go take this, go up to your room and all the clothes that are on your bed, put it in this tote right here. And then when you get to your destination, it's easier to pull them out and get to them. You don't, have to lift up the cushions and the the decking under that dinette to get to this storage 
the storage comes to you. It's just simpler, smarter, easier. We also have a sweet campsite viewing window over here. So whether you're in the kitchen or if you're sitting there at the dinette, you can just peek outside and you can see why the kids are screaming this time. Anyone who's camped with a kid knows exactly what I mean. We've got all LED lights. We can control them individually. So if you are trying to keep it a little lighter, a little darker, you have control over that. Our air vents can be turned and closed. And we do have centralized air conditioning. All of these are features that at an entry level price point, you don't always find. Our entertainment's a little more basic, but it's very expandable. Chances are people who are interested in this floor plan are not, they don't really care about a TV. If you want a TV, you can install one on that big flat empty wall staring at us, which is directly across from the sofa. So if you're sitting at the sofa, which is where I'm at currently, you're on Boardwalk and Park Place. And our entertainment here in the bottom left corner of that upper cabinet, that has face mounted HDMI and USB plugs. So if you want to get a Chromecast or a Roku stick or a Fire Stick or whatever, plug them in. Uh, get hooked up to whatever mobile data source you have access to and start streaming your Hulu or Disney Plus or whatever. There's a man, is it just me? There are way too many streaming services all of a sudden. Now, below that cabinet, take a good hard look at that big window we just looked at. This is not a metallic mini blind like you find in an entry level camper, it's not even a pleated nightshade like you find in a lot of even nicer campers. This is a slow-rise blackout shade, complete with both valances and lambrequins to keep sun from sneaking around it and stabbing you in the eyeballs, that overlooks uh, your fold-down sleeper dinette right here. So this is another higher class feature that you're finding here in this Wildwood. And if you haven't noticed, the trend is things that you're going to use, see, feel, touch, need, want, every single day, they're all here and they've invested heavily in them. They've given you really nice components where it really, really matters. This is an all thriller, no filler, no nonsense kind of brand. So we've got the double-double bunks in the back, um, and I, they have a neat little cutaway we'll look at in a second, but you can fold this down, you can fold the sofa down, we'll see that in a minute. You can sleep everybody and their brother in this thing, and because they've been so storage conscious, you can also keep stuff with them. So this is that little corner cutaway I was telling you about. This is what most double-double bunks look like. But what's nice is they didn't chop the lower corner off here so that you can the kids can step on this and then climb themselves up and you never have to throw the kids into the bunks. Isn't that nice? Now check this out. They're even including some extra USB plugs so on rainy days we have some kitty entertainment and each bed has its own little individual light. So if we do have little boogeyman scares, you know, the kids can close the curtain and they can each have their own little uh, private sleeping space with as much or as little light as they need. Extra large sink that adults can actually use and room for toothbrushes and uh, you know shavers and that's not just a mirror glued to the wall it's an actual full medicine cabinet which is something that a lot of entry campers don't always have so extra little things like that for me go a long long way and here's just a good example of how you can open and close these ac vents now the fact that it's centralized means it's not more powerful it just allows this uh, equal airflow through the whole trailer basically so the bunks in the bathroom or your front bedroom you're not gonna be sweating to death at night now, in here in the bathroom, a couple key things to point out. Uh, we have fully dressed this bathroom up to uh, the maximum of our ability. We have added both the skylight above the shower as well as the optional shower surround paneling here. Both of those things are not part of the standard Wildwood package. If you really want this thing to be just a box, you can get it. No oven, no outside kitchen, no almost anything. I mean, you can get this thing pretty bare bones if you want. But the thing is, you're really not going to save that much because of Wildwood's volume and their buying power. It's just too cheap not to add stuff like this. And you see that we do still have some handy foot flush stool here and plenty of leg room. Uh, now, you might notice there's some debris on the floor. This RV is literally, at the time of this filming, still hooked up to the RV delivery driver's truck. We don't charge hidden fees at Halet RV, and we will have this thing clean for you uh, before you take it home at no additional charge. It's all reflected right in our sale price. Spinning us around the other way, again, full nice blackout shades. But what's cool here is like when it is time to sleep, everybody, you got that sleeper sofa that I mentioned, I told you we'd circle back to, and you do have a full privacy like curtain on the front wall here. So if you do want that visual break point, you have it, you need to sleep maximum people. Well, you can do that too. But what's nice is when you don't want it, the RV just looks and feels so, so much larger. And isn't that awesome the difference it makes you pull that curtain back you open up all those blackout shades and man this thing just looks and feels absolutely enormous even though 
it has no slide out and that's what's great this thing gives us a nice big living room feel with all the lights the windows and awesome cross breeze but because we don't have slides causing walls to move we have the ability to do things like incorporate bigger cabinets more storage and that trend of more storage continues as we roll through now i love the little shoe garage right by the door they include under the sofa it's perfect now a lot of travel trailers with a similar floor plan you could lift the sofa up to get to that storage but now you don't have to and once again, the bedroom is deceptively detailed for an entry-level camper. Note, we still maintain the blackout roller shades, even up here in the bedroom. A lot of brands in an entry-level trailer, and even some mid-level trailers, you will drop down to metallic mini blinds, but they don't do that here. You have dual, full-length, hanging mirrored closets. Both sides of the bed in an entry-level camper still have household and USB plugs. I love how they go the extra mile to do the extra things that really matter, like I said, on a day-to-day -day basis. Even things like this, they're putting a better antenna here. This is a, uh, a King Jack antenna system. We see the same thing on high dollar Winnebago travel trailers on big fifth wheels. Long story short, you don't have to crank it up and down and it just gets far longer reach and clearer reception, which basically means easier access to more channels. But they reintroduce stow and go storage here in the bedroom in a way that I just absolutely adore. And once again, what impresses me is we're in an entry-level camper, but we still have the easy lift bed deck, plywood based with dual gas struts. It's the extra things they do here that in this class and category aren't usually done that make me appreciate this. Now you'll see the pass-through from outside. You can access it from inside, but what I wanted to really show you is the reintroduction of the stow and go storage under the bed here. These things are perfectly sized, just like the storage totes under the dinette, so that no space is wasted. There's still a mom and dad little shoe garage down below them, but these really take the place of like dresser drawers, but they're lightweight, they're easy. You can use them for things like folded shirts, pants, towels, whatever. You could easily have one made for beach use. You could have one for dirty clothes or two for dirty clothes or whatever. The fact is, you can really arrange this however you want, and they've given you so many easy options to pack this thing up and go camping. It's just not even funny. It's really smart, really simple, and yet it didn't cost a lot of money. Cheap isn't necessarily a bad word. Sometimes it can just mean inexpensive and, sh and smart. There's nothing wrong with inexpensive and smart. And the good news hits us right in the face outside as soon as we take a look at her, but again, it's easy to miss. This thing is not peppered with decals. Instead, you are treated to three lovely shades of brown. You've got brown, browner, and brownness, but the fact is, beyond just the decals that actually say Wildwood or X-Lite, she's pretty much decal-free. This has a painted exterior. And, you know, in these big fifth wheels, people pay silly amounts of money for something like that that you are basically getting here on, again, what we can call an entry-level travel trailer, mostly just due to budget, but a very smartly equipped one. Now, this Wildwood has something you need if you're going to hang around me. Uh, I have a wicked sense of humor, and I can easily become a bitter pill. Any of my friends will tell you that. They're, every group of friends has that one guy, and I'm sure you can tell by my dry sense of humor, it's me. You need a thick skin around me, and that's exactly what Wildwoods have. They have a thicker skin. Uh, normal aluminum used in the towable RV industry has a .024 inch thickness. The sidewall aluminum on all Wildwood trailers is a .03, it's 25% thicker, and they go all the way up to a .04, on that smooth painted aluminum nose sweep up here. They have a thicker skin. It will help prevent things like hail damage. It will pre help prevent things like uh, little rock pock marks getting dented into the side of this thing, whether it's a rock off your tire, a passing tire, or let's say one of your kids just hits a baseball a little bit wacky. I'm not gonna tell you that it's bulletproof, but it will help prevent those extra things. Another thing that they do here is called tough coat. If you get right up next to it and you rake your fingers down the side of it, you hear how it sounds like sandpaper? They have a uh, extra coating applied to all of their painted aluminum, with the exception of the smooth painted nose here, which is extra, extra, extra thick, to make it scratch resistant. So if you're going to a campsite that has a low hanging tree branch and that tree branch rakes the side of this thing, there's an above average chance that you're not gonna have to do any sort of spot paint touch-ups or anything on your Wildwood. It might hold up a little bit better. Neat thing on the front here is a custom engineered chassis with an integrated A-frame. What that means is that this whole thing is lower outside, but still gives us a fully capable interior. You have a lower center of gravity. The floor is mounted 
to the level of the A-frame instead of mounted above it. Um, hard shell cover propane tanks, that's not a like, oh, I've never heard of that. Wow, tell me more about this amazing feature kind of thing. But at entry level price points, guys, a lot of times you get either no propane cover or if you're lucky, one of those flimsy uh, fabric slip covers that will get whipped to death over time. Power awning, power tongue jack, dime a dozen features, but at an entry level, not a lot of campers are still giving us a power tongue jack. It's one of those, uh, they call it their best in class package on here. Another th thing that is really, really cool is even here at an X light, you have a good battery disconnect system so that you can keep this thing from phantom load draining. Now, did you notice those weird silvery brackets and those yellow bars? What is that? These are JT strong arm jack leg supports. If, well, first of all, notice that those uh, jack legs are mounted on a 45 degree angle. That is there for campsite stability, so that as people move around the inside, it doesn't tend to jostle and tossle you around. Now, those uh, strong arm stabilizers, I've done videos demonstrating how insanely good those things work. If you want this thing to feel like it's on a concrete pad, and that in conjunction with the LCI stable steps we'll see in a minute, this, this thing just won't rock and roll around. If you don't have sea legs, if you are easily motion sick, this is absolutely a branded trailer you should consider, especially in a bunkhouse with a lot of bodies moving around. Our roofing is fully walkable, so if you need to get up there for seasonal cleaning and upkeep, or if you're the type of folks you like, hey, I like to go to the races, and me and the buddies like to put lawn chairs on the roof and, and watch the races, know that I don't recommend that for safety reasons, but know that the roof will hold you. We are backup camera ready. So uh, we have those on the shelf here at Halid RV. And note the spare tire. First of all, we put a spare tire on these because I can't imagine you going down the road without that sort of backup plan. But it has the extra tire cover so that the uh, weathering won't tend to rip that tire apart because the last thing you need when you know you do have a the need to swap out a spare tire is to be locked into a situation where that tire does you no good because it's dry rotted. Won't happen here. And we have a very well-equipped patio side over here. Uh, it really begins with the optional little camp kitchen that you can apply to this Wildwood. And I use the word optional. Most of the time with a camp kitchen, it's either there or it's not. This is a brand that still gives you that selection. We carry a ton of different brands here at Halid RV, and we all want them to kind of have something a little different. And we do not have another manufacturer who makes this floor plan with a camp kitchen. So it kind of helps give this camper that one special thing to stick out. But it's not just one thing. It's actually a whole bunch of one things in here that's really neat. First of all, you notice how the little uh, sink arrangement, it telescopes out. And built right into that is basically like a, uh, a cook drawer. This is a induction cooktop. And it even comes with its first little, you know, induction cook pan, because you do need a little bit different pans and whatnot. So if you want to go baking crazy out here, you can. It even includes the tongs to do so. What's neat about this is it's it, because it's so thin, it can hug lower to the ground. So you don't have baking grease splattering right in your face. The other thing is, very quickly after you remove that pan, induction cool, uh, cooktops are cool to the touch. And that's cool for a couple reasons. One... This is a bunkhouse, and it's low to the ground. You have little kids running around, and you don't want them touching that. So the fact that it gets cool very quickly is a very cool thing. Secondly, this thing isn't hot when you slide it back in here and slide it closed. So there's no worry about, like, is it going to melt something? Is it going to burn something? You know, it's just not going to happen. For a sink arrangement, you see that you got the extra large basin out here, which you can move around if need be. Like maybe if you need to clean some fish on it one time and uh, wash your hands the next you can. And this is doubling as both a faucet as well as like a, a outside shower over here in the campsite. And Wildwood even includes a handy multi-setting like garden hose sort of sprayer head with that. Very cool. A lot of those things have the ability to add that, but they're including it here. Like I said, they do a lot of one things. Now, of course, we got Dad's medicine cabinet for the barley pop and the bottled water. How you doing, girl? And that, in conjunction with the fridge inside, gives us quite a bit of cold storage capacity. What is that? Uh, like over 13 cubic foot? You know, this has the total fridge space of like a Montana high country fifth wheel. Pretty impressive. And Hey, you know, prep space. When is anyone ever upset about having more prep space? And the fact that it telescopes to you, so you don't have to go reaching for it, is pretty darn cool. Our power awning over here, it does have tilt and lock arms. We also have a auto rain dump feature, LED lighting all the way below, push button simplicity for your campsite. A lot of RVs have something like that. You've got dual patio lighting setups. You've got your white LED lights up here, and then you've got little blue backlit speakers going on just to 
help kind of, I don't know, give it a little bit of shape and character. And anytime I can get a big window like this over on the campsite of the camper so I get to see my campsite instead of the neighbors, I'm happy with it. Now, a question I get a lot of times is people say, why don't they have a window in this door? You know, I, well, first of all, you got big windows everywhere. You have a great lighting package. Secondly, you go like that, you have your screen door, voila. I mean, if you, what you're really looking for is light and airflow. There is no better light and airflow than a giant screen door like that. And the fact that it's anti-slam means that the kids aren't going to fling the thing and bash it against the side of the trailer. Uh, as they call it, the Wildwood Best in Class package does include the LCI stable step here. The aluminum steps are not slippery when your rubber sole shoes get wet, which is pretty darn nice. Kind of like an aluminum boat dock, same sort of concept. And those adjustable foot pegs, they have quite a bit of play left in them so that if you need to, uh, if you're on a wacky campsite, you can always marry up to this thing. Another neat thing on the anti-slam door is that this thing can, like, go right up against the side wall of the trailer. So what that means is that this sharp point down here, it is further tucked away than a door with a plastic holdback, which would tend to leave the door out there. Not a major difference, but I know that one less scar on my kid's shoulder or cheek is something I'm definitely game for. And we have a great, huge pass-through storage compartment. Look at how wide this is. Storage is something these guys have really got figured out. I like how it's just got a good, clean look to it. I like how their uh, like their manual override levers over here, they attach them to the wall from the factory so that they're up out of the way. And then I love this thing here. This has been described to me, and it's kind of salesy, but cordless jack system. And I say that, and you go, what? Well, it's a manual jack system. And you could have got this thing for like, what, five, six bucks off my shelf here at Halet RV any day of the week. But I love the fact that Wildwood actually includes this with the camper. So that little power drill that you probably have laying around, and if you don't take a drill with you camping, you probably should anyway. You're always going to find a use for it, no matter what you're doing. Um, it, it, it turns you into a NASCAR pit crew when it comes to putting these jacks up and down. They move, it's faster, it's quicker, you're going to get camping sooner, and you're going to break camping easier. Now we got a huge compartment here, and if you want to use that, to add a portable solar panel, like one of those silvery suitcase jobs. You got your side mount prep package right there. And that's what makes these guys tick. There's a reason this is a top three brand in the industry. And there's a reason that we wanted to add them to our lineup here at Halet RV. They bring a lot of good, different, unique qualities to a category that is very often same, same, same. You know, whether it's the strong arms, whether it's the tough coat skin, the fridge, the outside kitchen, the steps or something. There's things here that are familiar, but there's also a lot of things that make it a really standout offering. So if that sounds good, give us a call here at Halet RV, ladies and gentlemen. We do hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. But we do not engage in the ugly, dirty practice of hidden dealer fees. So if you're looking for better, easier, simple, more fun, faster, give us a call. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.